Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Thanks for joining me. Today I am doing a project for Gerda Steiner Designs using a brand new stamp set over at the shop. This set is for Christmas and it's so cute. It's called the Holiday Snail and with just one image in here but this little snail is so sweet and he's holding a package of goodies to send to somebody for the holiday season. There's a sentiment in here that says Merry Christmas and there's a small one that says belated and then there's also um, a continuation saying and a happy new year so you can stamp that on the inside or outside of your project as well so this is the image it's so sweet i'm going to zoom in play a little music color my image in and then when i'm done i will catch you back Okay, that timed pretty good with the music. I'm just cleaning up my image and then I'm going to highlight a few of the areas like the scarf with some polka dots with my white gel pen. So sweet. Love this little guy. Okay, I am going to take my scissors and fussy cut out this image and I did leave a little bit of a white border. Um, it's easier especially with those little holiday lights around those gift packages to leave a little bit of a border. Now we're going to work on our background. For my background, I have a piece of what I thought was Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock, but I ended up thinking it was Nina. Um, Nina, sometimes when I blend with my oxide inks, um, when I use the spray bottle to activate some of that ink and remove it, um, it's not as bold as my Strathmore Bristol Smooth. And so um, after I spray it with water, you'll see that it didn't um, activate that ink and remove that color as well as I wanted to. So I think this is actually Nina 80 pound. So I'm using two oxide inks, tumble glass first, and then I added a little bit of shabby shutters along the um, outside edge. Here's where I went in and sprayed my water and it didn't pull that color out as much as I wanted. It did a little bit, but um, not as much. So using my heat gun, I dried my panel and then to add a little bit more white in my background, I want to bring in some white acrylic paint. Any kind of acrylic paint you have will work. Um, this is a little bit on the thicker side. It's a tube, so I added water to dilute it. And then I'm just going to do a little splattering in the background. We're going to make it a snowy background. Okay, that I set aside to dry, and it's ready to go. Um, that There's a little bubble that was um, on my background panel, and I popped it, and I, it doesn't look very pretty. So we're going to end up die-cutting that out. 
and then while we're die cutting I'm going to die cut out some stitched cloud line dies. I'm going to do a top piece and a bottom piece and I'm also going to die cut out some snowflakes with a medium sized snowflake die for my stash. Okay after we have this done I'm going to bring in my double stitched rectangle dies and originally I was going to use the larger panel but opted for the smaller one that way I can um, cut out that one piece that didn't look very pretty. <laughs> I'm going to slide my cloud line to the top and to the bottom and so there's a little gap in the middle and then I'm going to die cut it out all at once. Um, my papers were a little bit thick um, but it did die cut so if it doesn't die cut all the way you can always use your scissors. And I'm kind of figuring out my placement and I think this is going to look great so I'll take that top cloud line, add some foam adhesive behind it and attach it to the top of my panel. And then I'll stamp my sentiment, this is Merry Christmas on the bottom cloud line, and then pop that up and place that on my panel. I'll use my tape runner, and then this is going to go in the center of an A2 size card base, which is top folding. Just place that on our card front. And then um, I had die cut five clouds, but ended up just using three. I just wanted to put them in the blue area. Um, kind of like the valley area of my card and I did use foam adhesive behind each one of those snowflakes. Okay now for bells and whistles we are going to bring in, I did bring in some glossy accents and went over my light bulbs on my presents. We're going to add some sparkle with my Nuvo Aqua Shimmer pen and then I'm going to bring in some Nuvo Crystal Drops in Simply White. I added some 3D snowflakes in the background along with um, a dot in the center of each one of my die cut snowflakes. But that's my project for today guys using the holiday snail stamp set that's new over at the uh, Gerda Steiner design shop. I encourage you to check it out. Um, links are below in case you want to check it out. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye bye.